Steve here from A470RC Soaring and you may remember um, in not the last video but the one before that and uh, I was trying to fly this the um, J&H Aerospace Microbot okay or Micro Bird of Time um, I made a few changes since uh, since then um, the rudder servo was kaput so I've changed, I've gone back to my old high-tech gear, I've put a couple of four and a half gram servos in and um, a micro receiver <coughs> and a two cell 300 milliamp uh, LiPo battery. And uh, we're gonna try this and give it a couple of trim flights. Uh, and then if that goes well, then we'll put it on the high start and see how we get on from there. Oh, that's better. Okay, let's give this a second throw. So, everything working and... Ooh. Not bad. Just hook this on. Right, I'm not going to be uh, stretching it out too much. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, that'll probably do for the first first one. We'll just make sure everything's working, and we'll try it. Ooh. I'd say the balance isn't quite right still. Okay, there's no wind at all as you can see by the by the ribbon on there. We'll try giving this another another launch. See, it's poor poising a bit, which makes me think that it's still a little bit tail heavy. So I might have to add a little bit of weight into the nose if I can find some space. So this is flight number three or launch number three. And I've added just a little bit of nose weight to it. Let's give it a go. Ooh, it still wants to go to the right. <sighs> On launch. Oh, I don't know why that is. And another launch, see what happens now. Oh, that's better. Oh. I had to put the nose down then to uh, to get it to release. It glides nicely. So that was a much better flight. I've moved. I think the wind might have moved. What wind there is might have moved slightly. Let's try it again. All controls working. Let's give it another shot. Oh, it still wants to go over to the right. Oh. That pinged off too early.
so I've increased the stretch a bit I'm not sure whether the I think the um, the hook is going to hook position is going to need moving let's give this another go Oh, nice. Okay, so I am convinced that the uh, hook position needs changing. Now, whether that's got something to do with the reason why it keeps going over to the left, I don't know, but I'm gonna have to get sharp onto the rudder on launch. Let's give it another go. Oh, I didn't like that. So I haven't stretched it as far this time. Let's go. Well, that started going up straighter. Okay, and again. Oh, that was better. nice so that last flight was a lot better it's only stretched out about 10 paces i need some lighter lighter line on here so i need to get some lighter line for this i think that'll help things as well let's give it a go Whoa! <laughs> I've taken it back up to 12 paces again. Let's try it. Nice glide. Oh. <laughs> that started off going up nicely, but then it didn't want to come off the hook that time. Oh, a little bobble of lift there. Oh, it didn't want to come off the hook that time.
last flight of the day I didn't have much stretch on that at all Well there we go, uh, to me that was, that was quite successful I didn't crash it, so it was definitely <laughs> successful um, I seem to have the balance just about there, I think um, The hook needs moving, definitely and I think it would also benefit from using a lighter line on the high start um, at the time that was just at hand and uh, yeah it was it, I, it just needs replacing I've got some lighter stuff somewhere in a drawer so um, I'll, I'll use that um, but no I was all in all um, quite happy with that um, if anybody has any suggestions as to why it keeps going over to the left I have balanced it laterally um, but it is definitely going over to the left straight away from launch so uh, we'll have to have a look at that one um, right so I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, if you haven't subscribed already please do it now and uh, I hope to see you again very soon until then happy flying because we can now in Wales, yeah!